Aquarius, let's see what November has in store for you. Of course, any information you may be looking for as far as my social medias or my website will be listed in the description. Make sure you guys also sign up for my email list over there. I do send out horoscopes for you guys. I also send out exclusive sales that are only for my members over there. And if you do get your first session with me, you get a chance to get 50% off of that first reading. So definitely make sure you sign up. We have a lot of people over there. We have about like, I want to say 10,000 people from just five years of being on the platform. We have so many people signed up over there and I want to make sure I put more content out on the email list for you guys on my website. But enough of that. Let's go ahead and jump straight in. I'm going to pull about five tarot cards for you guys as well. Aquarius. November 2023 for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Okay. So let's get into it. So the first card is going to represent the theme for the month of November. We have divine guidance. Ooh, fell on the floor. So we have divine guidance. And look, it looks like a Christmas tree. We are about to go into Christmas time, basically. You know, once November hits, it's basically Christmas time. <laughs> for most people, for most people. Anywho, so the theme of this month is you being divinely guided. You may feel the intuitive nudge to do certain things that you don't even know why you feel the intuitive nudge to do it but it could be because your spiritual team is guiding you in ways that you're just not able to see also you could be feeling like you need guidance or that you need God to literally come down and sit on a big red couch and have that conversation with you right but <laughs> This could be a great time for you to get more connected with your spiritual team, more connected with the universe, more connected with God. And it's a matter of your willingness to be open and your willingness to be aware as well as far as how the divine could be giving you guidance or it could be guiding you, period. So pay attention to the events. Pay attention to what's playing out during this time frame because that in itself could give you the natural divine guidance that you're seeking. You just may need to pay a little bit closer attention to what's going on. So an example of this is if you're asking for questions in regards to whether or not to deal with someone, they could do certain things during this month that show you the answer. And, and it's just a matter of listening and actually seeing things for what it is. Now, what I see for the action that you're being asked to take, and sorry guys, I do have concealer on the back of my hand. Anywho, so I have cleaning house. So the action here this month, your spiritual team is asking you to literally clear your space out, whether this is actually clearing out certain things that you still are holding on to in the home, things that you don't use anymore, and clearing out space so that you could have, you know, more space for other things. This could mean, hmm, this could mean, because for some of you, you may have been in like a, a depressive episode for a little bit, and maybe you haven't felt like cleaning up the clothes in the <laughs> corner of the closet or doing the dishes and whatnot. So this may give you a sense of feeling a lot more at peace. And this could do a lot for your mental health. And like just doing things to gradually put yourself back in alignment because some of you may feel like there's certain issues in your life that is gonna take forever to you to forever for you to quote unquote fix. But if you just do little things gradually instead of looking at you know your whole financial situation if we're using that for an example and in focusing on how much money you may be in debt or how much money you need instead of focusing on that breaking down that goal and seeing how you can gradually you know scratch the surface when it comes to clearing out debt um so this cleaning house this cleaning house card excuse me could mean several different things for you but this is a time where you want to slowly clean your your act up or slowly tackle those challenges that seem like 
could be really, really hard to manage. Now, the message from your spiritual team, we have pay yourself first. Make yourself your most finan your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you're paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. Okay, so the message from your spiritual team is to, and this card actually goes beyond just finances, but yes, it's essential that you make sure that you're doing stuff for you in the midst of you paying bills and and handling your financial responsibilities. Now, budgeting and really being clear on how much money needs to go to your, your needs, then to your wants, and then also into your savings. And if you are finding that it's hard to kind of have enough for your savings or to have enough for even your needs, or not needs, well, yeah, needs and wants, this is looking at your options, of course, to expand your income so that you can have more money to put towards all those different areas. But beyond that, your spiritual team is also asking that you take care of yourself first. You can't really help other people if you're not able to help yourself first. So if you do have certain individuals in your life who you feel like need your support or need your financial support, emotional support, all these different things, and you aren't really feeling your best yourself, you need to make sure that you're pouring from a full cup, not an empty one. And that's also what this message is trying to say. Now, the hidden influence, Aquarius, we do have angels of healing are with you. A time of healing is about to bless your life, except Archangel Raphael's emerald green light while I enhance your strength. So the hidden influence is your spiritual team. Your spiritual team, how you have full-on support trying to assist you towards some sort of healing journey that you're going through and also just trying to assist you towards your blessings. So there's a lot of things that are happening that are pushing you towards better times, even if you may not see that at this current moment. So let's look at the cards that we have here. So we have the Six of Cups, we have the Five of Swords, we have the Chariot, the Queen of Wands, and we also have the Six of Swords. So this is going to be a month where you're going to have to try your best to block out any people from your past who you know have malicious intentions for you. They may not be someone who you could trust or somebody who you could honestly believe is sincere. And I'm really seeing this as either the person you may have children with. For others of you, this could be... Just somebody from your past, okay? Take this reading how it applies. But this month, it's going to be apparent that somebody here has not changed. Their intentions are still the same or they still have this malicious way of moving where they don't move with a sense of intention and you kind of get hurt in the process. This is also a time where you guys can break free from this. Like with angel of heal angels of healing being present, and pushing you guys as the hidden influence. This is a time where you need to be aware of ways that you could self-sabotage by dealing with people who you know could have malicious intent, but it's the wanting to rewrite the past that is already what it is that could be keeping you stuck in that loop of the past. So this is the month to break that pattern. Okay, and this is also beyond just romantic. This doesn't even have to be about a romantic situation. There could be certain things that you've just been through in your, your childhood or have been through prior to this year that have caused you to maybe question your ability to be successful or your ability to stay on the right track or even questioning if you're already on the right track. That may be something that you're, you're trying to... To understand as well but it's essential for you to address any self-sabotage due to what you think you're incapable of or limitations that don't really exist and this is going to be the month to break free from that 
Now, another thing I'm seeing, there's somebody here who really does not want you to move on or for you to start dating other people. This could be a Cancer or a Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo individual. It really doesn't matter the zodiac sign. But you're dealing with somebody who does not want you to like move forward or for you to find a successful relationship. So they could do things like constantly reach out to you when they see that you're about to move on or doing things to kind of pull you in and have you on a rope. Now, what is beautiful, I do have the six of swords here and it is upright. So this does speak about you guys moving to a better place and things are gradually getting better. But what has to happen like these swords are being left behind in this card. Usually in the regular tarot, the, the swords would be on the boat. But in this depiction of the Six of Swords, these swords are being left behind. So certain things have to be left behind in order for you guys to progress and in order for you guys to grow. And I think that's what November is going to show you. So this is what I see. I hope that this was helpful and did give you insight. And I will see you in the next one. Feel free to thumbs the video up and subscribe if you want to see future readings.